The security of America's borders seems broken in so many places. How do we fix this mess? I'm Molly Stark, and this is Heritage in Focus. Well, our, our borders are broken, and let me tell you why. There's two reasons. First of all, there are two major drug cartels, and they're fighting over $150 billion a year business. They're trying to move drugs and people north, and they're moving guns south. And they are making the border ungovernable. That's responsible for the violence and the crime and the lawlessness and everything else. It all stems from that. But there is a second problem as well. We have about 500,000 people a year that come across illegally across that southern border, many of them just looking for jobs. But the problem is, is you, you can't tell the difference between a murderer and a rapist moving back and forth across the border or a drug smuggler or somebody that just wants to get a job in the United States. So we've got to deal with both of those problems. And that's going to take a, a, a comprehensive solution. We have to do better border security. But we also have to do workplace enforcement. We have to take away the incentive to come here illegally. And at the end of the day, we do have to create legal opportunities for people to work in the United States because we have jobs that need to be filled. Now, that doesn't call for amnesty or legalization because people that are here should not benefit by that. They should go back to their home country and, and come back and get a job legally. But we've got to do all three. To fix the broken borders, we have to do a better job at border security. We have to do a better job at workplace enforcement. And we have to create legitimate legal opportunities to work in the United States. That's how you fix a broken border. We have to pass immigration reform that fixes all of what's broken. I'm Molly Stark, and this is Heritage in Focus. Mm -hmm.